Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and in today's video we're going over lesson 3 of data science uh, and in today's video we're talking more about pandas. Now in the last video we made a ton of things. So we went over how to create data frames and how to do some stuff in um, using pandas uh, yeah so in today's video like I said uh, last time we were going to work with CSV files and how to, we can read them this is our CSV file I'm actually gonna bring the this uh, like the link to where you can find CSV files and then also the one which I downloaded uh, for simplest, of course, uh, the 100 CSV file, and I'm probably going to use this more often when we go on to data analysis more and into the, uh, like, which I think is the just Google Collaboratory. It's kind of, I mean, the thing is people kind of hate on Google Collaboratory. I mean, it works. Come on, like, you don't need a dedicated, like, workspace to learn data analysis. Of course, you can go to some other studio or whatever but because it's python so it doesn't really matter that much at all i'm just using google collab for the next uh, data analysis data science or next like projects uh, up ahead uh replit isn't um it's replit is more for like everything else like it's it's a more like a broad platform so it has html and all that i feel like google collaboratory is more you know dedicated to that one like data analysis like it's just better in general so um let's get started so uh first of all uh go ahead and actually turn everything into comments because if you do so you will not have to face the problem of ever having to like or like just this issue in general so what I'm just doing is I'm just uh, making everything a comment by putting a tag or like hashtag next to it and then closing all of these gaps there so here we have this actually I can what I actually can do is I can duplicate this file create this copy this is my main pie so what I can do is I can control no delete all of this from the main pie and then I have my copy over here so if we ever want to bring this back now I have a fresh a file here to work on let's get started so import pandas First things first, straight up, very straight up, very straightforward, import pandas. For this time, I'm actually going to go as PD, because uh, why not? So, actually, I'll just, again, keep it pandas, you know, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Um, so, let's get started. So, once you have this file, you want to um, click on these three dots and click on upload file it should open your folders just find this file click on it itch and then open it it should pop up right here uh, I don't want to I'm not gonna really show it because I'm really bad at editing videos I'm still learning that and if anyone has actual tips for me on any software good software like just just to like download use to edit my videos please tell me because the internet is just showing me oh how to get free subscribers and I don't want that I just want a good editing software that's it but anyways I'm all just saying that so I can like um, like hide my personal information that's why I don't want this getting out anywhere because literally anything on the internet can go wrong so anything you do uh, but yeah here we are so once you uh, you load in your file your file should look like this and we can start to work with this now the first um, what am I doing the first uh, basically like uh, column is like where all the headers are and this is where everything is separated so index is the first thing so you can easily assume that it's this index so this is the first index customer ID this is the ID for the customer first name Cheryl uh, last name and then Baxter and then um, 
I think it's more than, it's more than, or this could be company, Rasmussen Group. This is the company, city is Leonard, and then country, Chile, uh, phone, uh, this is the phone, and I think that's another phone number, perhaps, but basically, these are, everything is, uh, organized into different, like, uh, like, different uh, parts basically so if you extract the name you can take out the name and stuff like that so let's get started first of all you cannot really read it like this so what I'm gonna do straight up first of all is I'm going to go ahead and go make a data frame and then set that equal to p pandas dot read underscore csv this function reads uh, CSV files and to use any function read brackets N then all you need to do is uh, copy the name of this so whatever I think I think you can just type it out customers 100.csv put this into double quotes and you should get your file here now all we do is print uh, data frame but we for now I don't want to print out the whole thing because they might just crash the whole um, replit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go data frame instead we're gonna go ahead and do dot and then head this head basically chops off 10 the first 10 uh, let's see here rows and basically just prints them out and then you have if you want to get the 10 last uh, lines then you go to uh, data frame and then dot tail uh, but we're gonna go with head and just do that and run our uh, code here so as of right now it's showing us uh, five rows and 12 columns and if we go to our, uh, what's it called, our customer's uh, CSV file, we can see that it's giving us the, I'm pretty sure what it's doing, it's, it's giving us, it gave us the index, and it gave us the first and last item here. So we got the index, and we also got the website. Now this could be that um, the file is too like large, but... I think uh, it works so print go ahead and uh, slash n but I think the main important thing uh, next for next time I'll find a new file which is kind of smaller but yeah for this time I'm just showing th okay what am I doing uh, this time that you can get the first five sorry not ten actually this five if if you want to get the first ten put in any number into the brackets here to get the number of rows you want there you have it now it shows us that we have 10 rows and 12 columns yeah okay so I've added uh, uh, a line break here and two line breaks to separate our next piece of code that would be to print the last five or for say 10 elements of the data file so let's go ahead and do print and then data frame dot tail instead of head and once we run this we should get the last five lines here so we have 95 100 that is correct we can also do 10 here which will give us the last 10 rows so we shall have 90 all the way up to 99 so confirm that works you can also go down and check if that works this should be 99 there's a hundred <laughs> well we got the last five rows here and yeah so that is uh, all about that we can also get information about the data frame so for example if we go down here I just go if we want uh, information about the data frame we can go data frame dot info 
and get info about this is that not working series unknown all of you print data frame dot info it should give us information about the uh, data frame and as you can see here this is our data here that we got here so here we have the data here so we have uh, our different headers all shown here so this is the columns and index customer id first name last name company city country phone one phone two email subscription date and website this is all the information about the data frame so if you wanted to see the information you can just use data frame dot info or whatever your data frame name is that you have put here dot info to get information about the data frame and it's really the uh, straightforward right here and now one thing I'm also liking about this is I says phone one and two and I suspect that not everyone has a phone one or two and that there could be null values in here so to basically um, find null values we can uh, check for the null values basically so uh, what we have to do is we cl we say that we clean these uh, values basically these uh, the data frame and what we do here is we create a new data frame so new data frame equals to and then the old data frame dot drop na which basically drops uh, any a row column that is empty and then we go down and print I actually want to go ahead and do this print and then we print our new data frame and then to string of course <sighs> oh. now I think it gave us the whole conjunction here I think if I zoom out it's a bit more <laughs> uh, simple I think I guess that's how I could say it now um i think that this is the whole this is like the whole data here but i think that they were actually no empty like not a single empty cell what i could do is i could actually um also print the old frame next to it so print uh, data is this 100 this is 100 wow so print data frame up here I'm gonna print the old data frame and below it I'm gonna print the old data frame okay see if that would let's zoom out a bit see what is going on here uh, for this it's only printing out the uh, first five and for last five and for the new one it's printing out absolutely everything uh let's make a let's see if i can fix this uh let's create a new new data frame new new data frame equals to data frame and see if printing this new new data frame uh, allows us to uh, get past this limit here Hopefully it does. It in fact does not, and I zoomed out a bit too much here. It in fact, does not. We still have this here, and then we have this whole conjunction. But I don't think that there were any null values in here, because 
if you go down here if you notice um did i go up no it's still the same but if you go down here you notice all of these are still at the, like the same level there's no difference in anything everything stayed the same which leads me to believe that there were no null values in this one file so let's go ahead and clean this before my computer absolutely explodes but i think we can do this um in the uh, next part where we will practice replacing cells and we will also use a simpler data set so for this video i won't put in the link to download the file i think i'll do that in the next uh, part of pandas and i think we using replit that time is over so i think it's best if we stick to a new um platform and uh, so see you guys then and yeah Stay tuned for next part.